Cut them. Cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. You gotta cut them off. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Wallace. Today I'm gonna ask you, how do you deal with toxic people? I think like toxic people, like you kind of just have to like try and like drift away from them and like yeah. just like get them out of your life. I ignore them. Usually I'll just space myself from them and uh, kind of just leave them, I guess, in a way. Like if, if they're not for me, then why be with them? Yeah, I usually will just try to cut them out of my life because I don't really need all that stress in my life. Same thing for me, I just cut them off. If possible, just not engage. <laughs> it can be like a slow process, but eventually like over days, you just like slowly drift away and then you get rid of them. Yeah, no, I think yeah. that's a better alternative than just like coming coming straight out and like having a whole big yeah. like break up because I think yeah. that's like, that can be also really damaging to if you have a future friendship. And I especially think colleagues, like that's a really hard one because you're working with them every day no matter what. So you can't really drift away with them. Um, and I think with that, I think just treating people with kindness when you do have interactions is really important. Uh, the last time it happened, someone was toxic to me and I just stopped talking to them. And then they kept asking like, why am I not saying anything? They were rude. Yeah, I think uh, next time maybe I'll, I'll ask like, hey, if you don't, like change well if you don't explain your tone I will just stop talking to you yeah yeah I think yeah like what they said like just surround yourself with better people and like just yeah get them out of your life yeah you <laughs> know no, for sure you need to walk away you need to I mean just to be as far away as possible from them you need a clean environment so <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in certain times you definitely have to like cut family off for a little while and then they'll come back around. I mean, I think it's pretty normal for family to have altercations every once in a while, but at the end everyone kind of comes back together. So yeah, it, everyone needs a break from each other sometimes. Um, well, and realistically I just kind of avoid them because I'm like conflict averse. So I think I, you know, retreat and then I kind of think what should I have done? But I wish like I have the courage to, you know, address them and kind of say this isn't okay. Like my, my little sisters, they're like six, and they'll just tell like other kids, like, this isn't fair, you know? Um, so something on that scale, but for adults. <laughs> and and uh, try to kind of maintain my own um, uh, comments to myself, because generally toxic people are very sensitive to comments, especially external comments. So therefore, know the boundaries where I can uh, step in to help. And if only they want help, if they don't, then so be it, so it is what it is today. So. My strategy is to have boundaries, uh, personal boundaries that I think of things that you can say to me versus things you can't say to me. Um, and if you're a person that is not able to respect the boundaries, then um, then I cut you out. Okay. Yeah, you just can't can't be in my life if you're a toxic person. Haha, <laughs> good question. So uh, when I was back in high school, I didn't really like deal with them. I tried to solve it. Like I, I tried to be friends with them and try to see what they're thinking about and why cannot. Like I understand them. And then after like a couple of years, for me right now, I would say I'll just stay away from them because it's never possible for me to understand their whole life, understand their oh whole experience, their childhood, because that's the reason that leads them to that kind of people. So I would say I would just stay away from them right now. Wow, that's a tough one. Um, it really depends because you have to take into account what that person's going through. Um, it could be uh, they're just reacting to a situation that's immediate. It could be something that I said that triggered them. Um, or they could just be a lifelong personality. So it's just kind of hard to say, but what I try to do is try to understand where they're coming from if I can. Yeah, it depends. I would say also avoiding, but I don't know if you can help them, right? Like if it's a friend and he got toxic, maybe you can. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is true. All right. <laughs>